Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple random patrol without modules, mods, or scripts, but with a simple code that you can add to an individual AI or a squad. First thing we're going to do is we're going to place a player. I'm going to go to men, and we're going to choose a grenadier, and I'm going to place him right in the middle, and that's all we need to do with the player. Then we're going to move over to the side here. We're going to go to F2. We're going to choose a weapon squad from the infantry. And we're going to place them right here. We're going to do, reduce the size of the squad by a few guys here. I'm going to give you guys a code. Add this code to the squad leaders INIT box. So here's the code left bracket group this comma space get pos which will be get pause or get position space this then comma and then one five zero right bracket space call space d i s underscore FNC underscore task patrol and then a semicolon. Now let's take a look at this code. Group is the infantry squad. Get position is going to be the center point or the position at which this squad will have a radius in terms of where they will patrol and 150 is the distance the maximum distance that this squad will patrol at so from their starting point they will go out 150 meters and basically patrol in a radius waypoints that you don't see will be created and they'll follow those waypoints but it will be within the radius of 150 meters and then you have the function uh, task patrol so let's hit OK and then we're going to play this and then we're going to go to spectator and here's our four man patrol now if we click on these guys and we go to the map you could see their waypoints where they're going to go to give you an idea of um, their basically their patrol radius. So it's within it's within the area. Alright, let's go back to the editor. What you could do is you could literally just copy this squad. Press Control C after highlighting them. And let's put them over here. And then let's go over here and press Control C or V. And paste them again. And let's go in the back here as well. Paste the squad. So this code doesn't matter how many times you run it it'll still make whomever you have it attached to patrol the area so let's play this and then we're gonna go to spectator so now you have four squads on patrol Alright, so that's something you could do. Let's go back to the editor. Let's highlight these squads up to the last one and remove them. And we're going to go here. So here's another idea for you. Let's say this guy was a bad guy. You know, he was an enemy. And your idea was to create 
a terrorist hunt type of mission. Copy this guy, press Control C, and let's just paste him in different areas. Well, let's say you have to, this is a terrorist hunt mission, and these are your enemies. And let's check this out. All right, let's go to Spectator. I'll go to the map. So you can see each one of these soldiers are patrolling and roaming around you can reduce the distance it on their patrol so it's you know not all real far outside of the, uh, the little town here but you get the idea so for like a terrorist hunt you could do this you could have individual enemy units you know, patrolling around like that, maybe not as many, or maybe maybe more, it's up to you. And then you could have, like, a squad or a couple of squads that you basically garrison within the buildings. So it makes an interesting fight. These guys are going pretty far. So that's an idea that you can mess with. Let's go back to the editor. Let's highlight all these guys up to the last one and delete them. We're going to go to markers. I'm going to show you a new code. And this code is actually, it's the same code except there's a little bit more to it. Uh, we're going to place an empty marker right in the middle of the town here. That's about the middle. And then we're going to name the marker Mark. And then hit OK. So the marker's name is Mark. That's all we need to do for that. Then we're going to go back to the squad leader here. And we're going to just leave group this and change this to get marker pause or position. And in space. And then you're going to put quotes and then mark which is the name of the marker and a quote and then you're gonna have a comma like we have here and then that's it that's all we need to do so basically with this code now soldier is going to patrol that marker he's that marker is going to be the center of his radius in which he patrols so let's hit OK and play it and see where he patrols to. He should be so what he's gonna do is probably gonna walk to the center if you wanted to know where he's going that's his waypoints Alright guys, one more thing I want to show you is I want to show you the wiki for the uh, task patrol. Let's go take a look at that right now. This is the Bohemia Interactive BIS FNC task patrol, the function that we used. So in the description, create a random patrol of several waypoints around a given position. And then this is how you call, you execute it through a call like we did. So you basically call this FNC task patrol. And then you scroll down here and then you can see the uh, functions or the parameters of how this uh, function works. So basically you have a group 
that is going to patrol. So it could be a unit or it could be a, a squad. And then you have the position, then you have the distance. That's basically breaking down this code right here. So you have the group, the position, how far they're going to patrol, which is, we had 150 meters. And here's something extra is basically a blacklist. It's a optional blacklist of areas that they could patrol. And then if you had, then you have the function itself. And here's an example, another example of how to do it. All right, so I'm going to link this in the description of the video. I'll also put those two codes in the description of the video so you could use them as a reference and uh, for more tutorials.